So hi, welcome to Brandly Speaking. Um, we have been talking so much about brands, branding. And today I want to look at a particular um, area of branding, and um, that is for the non-for-profit sector. All right, and um, we'll look specifically at church. You know, how can you brand your church? How can a church become a brand? Okay, but it's good for us to know that, yes, churches, non-for-profit, most times are started without a structure initially, you know, and um, um, things just go on out of a passion to do something, passion to change the world, passion to influence people, passion to impact lives and all that. So initially when churches start, you know, um, it's all about a drive to make sure that the passion you have in your heart you know, you let it out. So that's what normally happens now. But you find out that as time goes on, as the church begins to grow, as the non-for-profit begins to grow, it begins to have a structure. Now, when there is a structure, then there's need for um, branding. So it's important for us to realize that, that churches um, also need branding. You know, I, I talk with some pastors, some religious leaders at times, and uh, when I talk about branding, they say, wow, do we really need to brand? Does branding really apply to churches? Yes, it does. Anything that is a, a product. Remember, we've talked about product as uh, um, um, organizations, as um, a service, as a physical product, like a phone. Um, we also talked about a product as an idea. We've talked about a product as a place, all right? Um, a release can be a product that can be branded. So we've talked about all that. Uh, and um, so now we're talking about an organization such as a church. It's a product. Anything that you're putting out out there for people to um, get part of it, as in to experience it, is a product. So, well, your, your, your members are definitely your customers or Let's put it this way, your target audience, all right? So it's good for us to understand that branding is very, very important, especially today for churches. That is the only way you can differentiate your church or ministry from others. People have options where to go and worship, where they identify as ministries, as churches, but you need to differentiate what you offer okay, to your audience, you need to differentiate it from what is out there, all right? So it's good for us to know. So church, churches need branding, all right? And it's beyond just changing your logo, beyond just having a logo, changing your logo, or um, all those communication materials like your flyers and all that, it's beyond that. You need to actually brand your church. 